I remember. I mean, I was watching the race, you know, and uh, man, you know, it, it was uh, it was big news, and it was big news time after that, you know, about your mm -hmm. your recovery process, and and you know, I'm just it's it's cool that you're here right now, but can you share with us uh, about that when you got injured that that race? Yeah, yeah, yeah David. It, Thinking about it some every once in a while, I think about it, and it, it could have been a lot worse uh, with all the technologies and stuff that, that it's been advanced to. That's really the only reason I'm here. I, that, that sort of uh, straight-on impact there would have, would have killed drivers back in the day for sure. Uh, I, and even then, I bent the steering wheel and hit so hard. So uh, it, between – that year, if I'm not mistaken, David, uh, Kyle Busch hit the hit the wall and broke a leg or something like that, I believe. Uh, and between those two uh, accidents, they, they may have happened fairly, fairly close to each other or whatever. I think NASCAR said, okay, uh, we got to start putting safer barriers all around the racetrack because guys are hitting walls, you know, that, that we thought they were never going to hit. You know, it's like they didn't think that, they, they they didn't necessarily think that that somebody was going to hit the wall, you know, down the straightaway at, at Vegas straight on like that. But right. you can't predict anything in racing. Uh, obviously, yeah. obviously, it's it's easy to say now. Um, looking back, maybe may, maybe that was like maybe that was the sort of thing that that happens in in, in somebody's career that that's it's super hard to come back from. Um, th th there's not a lot of room for error in this in this race this whole racing business. You know, you know how that is. You have a, if you have a good opportunity, um, uh, even though they don't say an injury, you know, will set you back. It really will. Um, anytime anytime it affects your you know your your races that you have planned. I mean, we all know there's sponsorship that's involved in it. There's people that are behind the scenes. Uh, when you break that momentum there that can take a while to come back from. Um, and, 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 and I would say that that's some, that's definitely some of what occurred. Uh, but came back from that and, and won a, won an ARCA championship. So I, I certainly can't complain. Um, um, though it is, it, it, it's, it's frustrating, but I'm happy for the drivers who, you know, sat in that, in that truck uh, after that, I mean, you look at Austin Sindrick came in, uh, and then you know, you look where he's now, and and um, Reddick's Reddick's you know, winning races at the cup level. Um, you know, both teammates of mine at different points in, in that year, so so great for them. Um, but certainly challenging, but but I but I will say it, <laughs> I wouldn't be the person I am today in a lot of good ways if it wasn't for those tough, tough, uh, tough days at the racetrack. Absolutely. So, but you look, you look at those guys that you were beating. I mean, Reddick, Reddick was your teammate and, you know, man, you know, <laughs> how did, you know, I, he wasn't out driving you. I saw you beat him a lot, you know what I mean? And, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing to see what these guys did and, 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 your truck, I say your truck, Brad's truck, but you know, and uh, you know, and, and you know, it's just a tough business, you know what I mean? And you look at where they're at, you know, and and in my mind, and I know a lot of other people's mind, you should be right there with them, you know what I mean? Uh, ability wise, talent wise, you got just as just the equal amount, maybe a little bit more, you know, in my mind. So, uh, uh I want to go back to what you were talking about. If it wasn't for yourself and Kyle Bush, y'all, they should have named y'all's crashes, your injuries, really uh, has made the sport a better sport uh, because of what you made the industry have to pay attention to. And other people uh, that wrecked like y'all wrecked now can get out of that race car 
that, you know, might be shaken up a little bit, but the injuries aren't nowhere near how y'all were injured and they get to race again the following week. You know what I mean? And I think, I think it's because, and I know it is, uh, and you know, it is, it's because of what you guys had to go to through to get there. You know what I mean? For NASCAR to fix, obviously there was an issue there, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. uh, so I thank you for that, but I, I hated it that you got hurt like you got hurt and maybe some opportunities, uh, some opportunities, maybe, uh, I don't know how you say that opportunities that you had might've gone away because of your injuries, you know what I mean? Which is, uh, which is terrible to me, you know what I mean? But, but again, you want to win an ARCA championship and, uh, that, that, that was amazing, you know? So yeah, tough deal. Now your injuries you you sustain there in Vegas uh, are you a hundred percent? Um, I don't even know what your injuries were, but have you recovered a hundred percent from that, Austin? Yeah, I mean, my back and neck, and and uh, for the most part, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I can tell you the scans the scans don't don't look like a, <laughs> like a twenty you know a twenty nine year old guy but uh hey a lot of people have worse and and you know uh look at somebody like travis mills uh, uh you know veteran that i'm working with on this oxford 250 we'll probably talk about that at some point you yeah, know absolutely. he doesn't have any arms and legs uh and and he's still he's still going and inspiring people so i uh it was tough it was a tough lick and and my body you know feels it but I'm still fortunate to be able to walk and, you know, basically do everything else. So, 